What up, what up? My name is Ramon, cosmetic chemist, esthetician, lover of all things beauty. And here we are to wrap up our favorite products of 2022. Today we're talking about toners and essences. If you haven't already, go check out my video on my favorite first and second cleansers of the year. Also hit the subscribe button to see all the rest of my favorite videos coming up very, very soon. We both know I love toners. I love essences. I love hydration. Hydration and skincare to me is very vital. I have oily, dehydrated, acne prone skin. And introducing hydration into my routine and really layering up layers of hydration is vital for me. It helps Helps to really like make my skin less oily, helps give me that glow. I'm glow very alone for a reason. And it really is just like a vital skin prep step for me. When it comes to summer, textures are light. Textures are not heavy, not greasy. When it comes to winter, we like richness. We love to feel like we are moisturized and glowy and supple. So that definitely is a factor in what I'm choosing for this video. Well, let's get started. Some of these you've seen already in my videos, like my favorites and whatnot, because obviously they're favorites. They're in my year end recap. First one is a product I picked up in Korea. We both know I love Panthenol. I love how Panthenol just feels on my skin. So this first product is from a brand called BOH. I picked this up at Olive Young in Korea. This is their Sika Blemish 90% Calming Mist. This features Panthenol, it features Centella, and it features something called a Phyto Calming Complex. You can see I emptied this. I love a mist because I'm a little bit lazy and just a tss, 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 I'm done is really, really easy for me. This is light, but it's really hydrating. Panthenol just does something for my skin. I don't know what it is. It just, it really gives me that hydration without being too rich and it just gives me a nice glow. And then I find with Panthenol, my skin just look, looks a little bit more supple. Like for me, it's really panthenol, glycerin, hyaluronic acid when it comes to hemectins. Fun fact, I actually picked up the cream version of this. They got a cream milky version of this. I just picked it up on this last trip to Korea. I have not really used it yet. I haven't incorporated it yet, but let's foreshadow and expect to see it on next year's end of list. Next up, a recent addition to my routine from Desi Skin. This is their Do Me Over Prep Set and Refresh Face Mist. I'm mad hyped about Desi Skin. I've told you this. And I posted about this on my Instagram and actually posted how it was a brand that was started by a creator. I was very hyped for because Desi was a makeup artist. Who better to understand skin and skin prep than someone who is technically a beauty creator but has a background on getting skin ready for good makeup looks. And I posted about that and she sent me PR. So Desi, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Also, thank you for bringing Ocean into this world. I love your children. This is the Do Me Over Miss. One thing I love about this, first of all, is it's a continuous mist. You push that button once, it's gonna keep misting, which I have not seen that in a toner launch in ever. And also it's just, it's nicely hydrating. It's lightweight, but it really gives you that nice juicy tacky like feel on the skin that I love from a toner. It's like kind of giving Korean toner vibes and it's multi-purpose. So like obviously makeup artist. So this is supposed to hydrate your skin, kind of prep it for makeup. And then it's not a setting spray necessarily, but it's a really nice hydrating, reviving spray for your makeup. Think MAC Fix Plus. It really gives your skin that nice dewy glow. Very, very, very simple similar to another favorite of mine, the Watermelon Glow Mist from Glow Recipe. That continuous mist though, game changer. Another toner option, this is from Equal Reaction. This is their Mushroom B5 Toning Cocktail. I was so hyped when I first saw this was launching. This features 2% Panthenol. I love Panthenol. It also has a green tea and three mushroom complexes. Mushrooms are really, really great in terms of hydration. They are really popular in Korean and Japanese beauty, and I love seeing it now a little bit more in Western brands, but it just gives your skin really nice hydration. This is very similar to other favorite toners of mine, like for example, the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Toner. Has a very nice light texture, but still is really nicely hydrating, has really good humectants in it. And Equal Reaction just does it for me. They have the really nice PHA serum, their cleanser I mentioned in my favorite cleansers of the year. And this lived up to the expectation. I was very happy with this. I'm very much enjoying it. Next from Miss Fenty Skin, this is their newest toner launch. This is their Fat Water Hydrating Milky Toner. If you notice, this is milky. It's not clear like the original Fat Water. This is supposed to be more in line with that Laneige Cream Skin vibe. So it's a milky toner. Think of like a light emulsion. So you have the nice humectants in there, but you also have some oil soluble ingredients solubilized in the formula. to kind of give a little bit more emollient, a little bit more weight, heft, power, and hydrating and lightly moisturizing your skin. On the skin, this feels velvety. This feels plush. This feels nice. This does have the Fenty Skin Signature scent, but to me, it's a lot more mellow. It's not as strong and potent as the original Fat Water, but on the skin, this just feels plush. This gives you some really nice, this is milky on the skin and it's not heavy, it's not greasy, but it really just does give your skin that extra, extra boost that I would expect in a milky toner. So I'm very, very happy with this. I do have their Dark Spot Serum coming very, very soon. It's just Fenty Skin PR gets sent to my mom's house in Orlando and it's a whole deal to get it sent to here in Germany. So hopefully 2023, I'll have that product. One more product, now we're getting into essences. This is from Perito. You can see I emptied this. This is their Galacto Niacin 97 Power Essence. I love an essence. I love a fermented essence. This obviously has Galactomyces ferments, which is a fermented ingredient. It has 92% of that. It also has 5% niacinamide. And so 
really where I see this is it's a lightweight essence. This really gives me first essence vibes, really that first layer of hydration right after you cleanse. Fermented ingredients just do a lot for me in terms of my skin. It helps to really lightly hydrate, but also just boost everything else I put in my routine. So I see a lot better skincare benefits from my hydrators, from my actives, from my moisturizer. And plus with niacinamide in there, it's really supporting skin moisturization. It's also helping to maybe target the appearance of pigmentation and maybe bring down some redness. So overall, one of those all-in-one products, it's super, super lightweight. So this is really a vital step for me during the summer underneath my sunscreen. But yeah, I emptied this. My only request is Perito. I want a bigger bottle of this. This is how many mil? This is technically 60 mil. I burned through this in only a few months because I love to layer this up because it is so lightweight. But yeah, I emptied this. I already ordered a backup, but I also just, this, this reminded me how much I love fermented toners and essences. So I actually have a few more different ones coming in from an order from YesStyle. So stay tuned for those. And then my last product, this is from Abib. I bought this on YesStyle and I saw this because I was buying the Abib sunscreens and I saw this right next to it. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. It's their Okjuk Essence and it's called an Essence. But I'm gonna say this has more of a thick serum texture. It's like a jelly thick serum, but it's hydrating. There's really the main function behind this is to really hydrate the skin, support skin moisturization. This was something I could not put down when I was really starting Tret. So if you have dry skin or maybe you're starting Tret and you have sensitive skin and you need something that's going to nicely hydrate the skin and start to kind of build up that moisture on your skin because it feels really dry and tight, check this out. I've been recommending this to my dry skin friends for them to try and see. Just because this really did a lot for me when I was starting Tret and my skin was just parched, it was peely. This is what I reach for. And with that, those are my favorite toners and essences from this last year. Realistically, these do not replace some of my favorites from years past. These are just toners and essences I introduced into my routine this year that really stood out to me and I thought were worth giving a shout out to. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content. And of course, the rest of my favorites of 2022 round up. Hit the notification bell to know when those go live. Also down below in the comment section, let me know what were some of your favorite toners and essences from this year. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys. Bye.